Right, what have we got today? Bush, well, it's a light and a pen. So first off, um, I got this for free for review purposes, but an honest review, obviously, because you know that's what happens on this channel. But they, I received this from Wuben, so thank you very much, Wuben. But um, as you know, I give proper, honest reviews on this channel, so that won't affect the overall mark that I give stuff. Okay, so this is the Wuben E61, also known as the Gecko. Now, straight away, for whatever reason, they've called it the, the Geoc. I think that's probably a mistake because on the actual sticker here it says gecko so uh, i'm sure that's something that they'll maybe fix in um, packaging moving on so you get a sort of a quite a nice box here and um, but i mean you know it's not a super ultra premium pen this isn't going to be something that's um, you know encrusted in gold and jewels but it's more of a tactical pen so let's quickly open this up uh, i mean I'll, I'll briefly show you the back if you want to pause this you can have a look at some of these items here you know it's made from uh, uh, aluminium or if you're american aluminium um, you know, you've got different colours of the uh, the flashlight insert in this. Um, you've got a zirconium bead head, blah blah blah, and all this. But I'll I'll go over that. I, it's, I'd rather speak about that. So here's the main box. So let's open that and see what you get. So you pull this open. If I manage to work out how to open a box, you know, I am an adult. There you go, bang. So quite a nice box. Um, pretty good and here's all your stuff nicely laid out so there's the main item there which is the tactical pen the e61 or sometimes known as the e61 gecko uh, if i can get it to focus there yeah known as the gecko there e61 um, so first impressions i really like this i like the way it looks it's not too heavy i think it comes in at around 54 grams it can depend it can be sometimes 52 grams to 54 it depends on which heads because the heads can be changed and altered but it's quite nicely milled. Um, I'll give you some of the quick sort of specs on this. Um, it's anodized finish, um, so it's pretty good. Nothing's come off. I've, I've put this back in the box, obviously, but I've carried this for a number of weeks. Not had any issues. I can't see anywhere where the paint's coming off, so I'm pretty impressed with that so far. And nothing's worn out so far, so pretty nice. Um, you can get this in blue or black. If you go to the website, if you, it, it's weird because it looks like there's three different colours. It says like navy blue and all this, but really all I could ever find um, on sale anyway is the two colours, so blue or black. Um, and like I say, um, again, differing um, issues on the website. Sometimes it'll say 130 lumens, sometimes 140. I think this is looking at the size of the battery and the way that they've set this up. I would suggest this is 130 lumens on max settings anyway because there's three different settings. Okay, so before we go and look in the box, I'll tell you a little bit more about this. It's got a one meter drop rate, and I would have preferred to have seen more than that. So they're seeing if this is one meter above concrete, for example, and you drop it, it's still gonna work. I haven't dropped this. Um, I've bashed it around and put it in bags and desks and things like that, and I've whacked it around in, in various tasks. And I've been whacking things with the end of this. And I've not had any issues. I would have preferred to see um, 1.5 to 2 meter drop rating, but okay, because it is quite finely milled and, and you know that does reduce strength. So that's fair enough, at least they're being honest. It's got an IP66 rating, so the first figure is dust in the woods. Dust isn't going to get in and cause any issues, but it really isn't on this. This isn't dust isn't something that would attack a, a tactical pen anyway. And the final figure of the six means it's not fully waterproof, but it won't be because. You've got open uh, charging ports and things like that, so you, you can't drop this in water, but rain and, and the usual dust and mud, you should be absolutely fine. And it's got an internal 120 milliamp hour battery, but that's fine because it's not producing a massive beam anyway. That's not what this is about. So they're your basic sort of items. Um, now I'll show you what else you get in the box, so I'll just move that out of the way. I'll bring the box in. So here's the box. So let's quickly look at what, we, what we've got, what else we've got in here. So this, I think, is the manual. It looks like it, yeah. So we'll open this up. This is probably the manual just as so you, that you're supposed to read to find out how to use these things. Yeah, it is. So we'll ditch that. So there's the manual. I can't be bothered to read that. No, nah, I can't be bothered. And there's a little quality control sticker. So nice to see. So that was checked uh, on that date. That's fine. So at least somebody's checking them. So I'll retain them, but I probably won't read them. So boosh, get rid of that. What else we've got here? We've got two other boxes, so we'll take these out and we'll get rid of this display case. So again, nice display case. Bang, I really like that. Um, it's a little bit of extra touch there instead of just a, an empty package. Okay, so here are your heads by the looks of it. And in here should be the charging cable because I want to show you the charging. Now, it's micro USB. I would have preferred to have seen Type-C, which is more modern. 
yeah it's micro so there's your type a connector normal usb there and then obviously the one that goes into the light itself or i should say tactical pen is a micro usb as you can see there not unidirectional obviously it's got to be the right wheel we'll actually try that now so we'll get rid of that and we'll we'll try that now so i'm just going to use my handy x star to charge it up so if we plug that in so the type a goes in there and then if, when you want to charge this item up, because as soon as you get it, you probably want to charge it straight away. So you need to get this the right way up, remember. So you get this the right way up and into there. And you'll notice the Wubin, the Wubin W is red. Now when that turns from red to blue, that means it's fully charged. There are also other uses for this light. So I'll show you. So we'll take that out. That just proves that it's charged. And then that, and, let in regards to charge and you can see it's a it's a trickle charge it's it's about five volts it isn't charging a lot there because it's it's really really low um i mean they're saying it it takes two hours to fully charge now two hours on a 120 milliamp battery that's rather a long time and the reason is it's not even registered on here it's a really really low there it's fully charged you see how that's gone blue now it's a really low draw so unfortunately it takes about two hours to charge which is a little bit unfortunate but i suppose it prolongs the battery so we'll put that to one side so like i say i would have preferred to have seen type c but it's not the end of the world i'm not going to you know go and hang myself over something like that so we'll put that to one side and like i say this also has another function so when you first action this because obviously they are leds which i'm going to go over but i want to just i want to explain this first when you first press it see how it's flashing Oh, I'll unlock that right so you see how that's solid blue it'll be it'll be like that for about five seconds there and then it, and then it turns off so I'll explain that this is a battery um, level indicator basically so when you first action it it'll stay on for five seconds if it's solid blue you've got around 90% battery when you've got between 90 and 40% battery that will flash for those five seconds if it's less than 40% you'll get a red solid and then when it's between 15 and 0%, it'll flash red. In other words, once you get down to that, that level, you must charge immediately, otherwise you're going to damage the battery, basically. So nice to see. Nice battery uh, feature there. It's also got lockout, but I'll do that when I go over the UI. So let's quickly look at the unit itself. So very nice, minimal brand, and it's not over the top like some of the Army Tech stuff. I like this clip. It worked. I used this on a pair of jeans. I also used this on a work pocket, and I had no problems. I also used it on some Molly Web, and it's, and it's the right distance. I'll get that to focus there where this actually goes over the side and the Molly Wobbin, Pals Webbin or whatever you want to call it goes in there and it does fit nicely. Um, nicely made, smooth, nice finish. The edges are slightly smoothed out there. Um, there's a little release function there you can use if you want to take this off. Uh, there's the, the screws on there but they're very small and the button is slightly recessed although you can see it's a little bit proud there so it can be knocked but that's not an issue on this because it's got a lockout. Um, and then this is the the head section so you probably think why is it why does it look so strange well it's changeable so you've got two onboard options so at the moment i have the zirconium bead i mean uh, whether people know this or not zirconium is basically a metal um, it's sometimes used in the ceramics industry that's how i know it anyway um so really they're classing this as a glass breaker i like the way they've used a zirconium bead instead of just a sharp piece of tungsten for example so you don't have to fall foul of laws saying, well, this is a sharp or pointed article. Well, it's neither sharp look or pointed. Look, that's not, it's not pointed or sharp. So you should be able to carry that without any legal issues, especially in the UK. Um, and if you want to change these heads around, it, it swivels and tilts. So you click it out, okay, and then you just rotate. And then you go to your secondary function. Now, the secondary function I have installed here is a pen. Now you can change these around. So let's see what you get in here and I'll explain how that works. Okay, so open this up and let's see what we get. Now these should be the other heads. So we'll boosh, get rid of that. Yeah, and it says, it, well it actually says spare O-ring. So I presume they've used this from a Wogan light. Um, but that's not what you're gonna get in here and I'll show you what you get. So you've got spare ink which I'm going to come to in a second because I think that's a, possibly a con on this light. And then some other heads. So if you wanted to replace one of the heads, I shall show you that. So let's say you thought, well, hang on, I don't really need a glass breaker. You know, I'm not going to go around smashing things. So you can just rotate them off. And it's a threaded section. So I'll zoom in there. Can you see that there? It's threaded. 
and then we'll zoom out again and there's enough thread on there so that that I haven't noticed that unscrewing itself in your pocket and so for example you could change that to a stylus pen in other words to be used on touch screens and it's quite soft look see I probably wouldn't use that because um, you, I've got these things called fingers which were given to me at birth and I use them on touch screens so I don't really know why a lot of people use styluses but maybe if you've got muddy, hand, muddy hands or some other reason you can use that but that, that ability is there and obviously if you thought well I don't want that one I'll change that again they give you another head now you probably think what's this one now this one is sharp or sharp looking anyway see it now if you look at this material it looks a little bit crude doesn't it I think that's probably or it may be or may not be I think that's probably um, a softer metal or lead or something like that and the reason is they're calling that um, something like an everlasting pen or a forever pen and I'll show you what they mean so if I get a, a little pad here let's get rid of that so if without ink, obviously this is just a piece of metal. See how you can write it with it? Trail track. There you go. So looking at that, it looks like it's it's leaving. I mean, I call it forever pen. That looks to me like it's a soft metal, or maybe it's lead or something like that, which is leaving its uh, trace on there. So a handy feature to have, you know, interesting. I don't know if I'll call it forever pen because there comes a point where that's going to run out. But okay, interesting. You can see where it's slightly rubbed off there. See if, you, if I zoom right in on the point there, you can see where it's become shiny. And then we'll zoom back out again there. So they call that the forever pen. I don't think I would use that very often. And you've got the stylus one, which I've shown you. And then you have the glass breaker. So we'll put the glass breaker in just for a second. And I want to discuss the pen section. So let's say you just want to write something twist that round and then it clicks back into place so again the pen I've used it you know a couple of weeks now I haven't done that much writing with it but I've done enough to know that whether I like it or not so yeah works fine it's a simple biro insert which I shall show you now so there it is there that's what they look like so we'll zoom in there and as you can see it's it's your basic biro insert for from like the the classic big pen design anyway I'll zoom back out there now the first problem I'd like to see is look how much ink you're getting not a lot that's not a lot of ink so on the time I've been using this let's see how much the ink's gone down okay so as you can see I have been using this so look how much the ink's gone down now bear in mind the ink does actually go into this section so it's, so it's not critically low but it's certainly lower than when it first so it probably goes down to about there because that is hollow remember but then that's not a lot of ink so you're probably thinking well so what you just put a new one in well you can put a new one in but the problem is look you only get these four spare ones and you can't buy other ones they don't seem to allow you to buy more i would have preferred to have seen like you know 50 of these in a in the box there's plenty of room so they're not going to last very long so the next question is well if you can't buy any what do you do well technically you can make your own so if i find one where is it i did have a pen there's one right so here's a, a cheapo biro pen so what you can do is you can just take this out and I have tried this it does work not just to prove that it does work look this is the head if I was to make my own this does go through and function you see so it does work but you're gonna have to cut that now that sounds simple enough doesn't it so all you do is you would just line that up okay line it up with that and then you would cut it to the same height. That sounds simple, doesn't it? But the problem is the ink on a standard biro goes all the way up to here. Can you see? Get it to focus there. So if you cut there, what happens is some of the ink's going to ooze out. Now, where's that going to ooze? Well, it's going to ooze into this section here and you're going to end up with a sticky mess. So yes, you can make your own. But the problem with that is you're going to have to either use biros where it's right down at the bottom or put up with a sticky mess. So there's a, there's a problem, and I, I, do, I just want to, you know, I don't see a lot of people mentioning this in reviews because um, someone sent me a review and said, look at this, what do you think of this? And I thought, well, the guy didn't even mention any bad points. So, And I, I generally, that's one of the reasons why I don't like to look at reviews before I review myself because I don't want to be made biased by what they're saying. So that, that's just something I want to point out. That to me is a con because you don't get many and to make your own, you're going to end up with a sticky mess. So it's a shame that. But in regards to the pen functionality, it does work. 
so we'll put that back in okay so we've discussed the heads and the fact that you can adjust these it's a simple click out and rotate and you can go to your next tool and click out and rotate and you've got those four options of the different heads so let's put things to one side so they're out of the way okay so the main function of this obviously is to be a bit more tactical so it's not just a pen it has this flashlight insert so we'll go through that now so in order to actuate that what you would do is as long as it's not locked because if it is locked you're gonna to have to use four presses but we'll, we'll get to that so what you would do is to use the light you simply press it see so there's the light there so three of the LEDs um, ignore these the, the, the one here and here they have a secondary function like a strobe function which I'm going to go over so this is your main usage of the light although you can take this out you see you can put that at that angle or you can put it at that angle or that angle which is handy um, and it means you can you can use it for other other means you can even do this and write in the dark so if you want to write in the dark boom 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 you see how the light is going towards the place that you're writing so I like that feature also you may or may not know or notice there's a magnet on here I think it's a neodymium because it's pretty powerful for its size um, and you're able to stick that to uh, metallic surfaces I have used it I had a few problems where if I put it on sideways because of the way that this is weighted it would swivel down like that so you'd have to do that and so it's not perfectly balanced but it is perfectly balanced as a pen so I think they've gone for that uh, when this is stuck it will slide but it does it does stick and I'll just show you that here's a here's a, uh, a Leatherman here there so that it does stick but can you see how it rotates that's rotating there so if you have that at a specific angle you have to just let it hang which it still works though you know most metals it'll stick to no problem there you go it sticks without without issue and hangs so that's a nice feature to have I'm, I'm glad that they, they added the magnet and like I say you've got all these different angles you can go to you know you can put it up like that if you're doing something or you can you can put it to one side and, and get on with things now you probably think well there's not a lot of light coming from there well actually there's three modes so that's your first mode so that is I think now on low you get about in fact we'll go through them so there. so that's that's the lowest there so that is about three lumens and they're seeing you get 15 hours on a full charge that's pretty good I've tried walking using this in in the dark it's kind of doable as long as you've got your night vision but it's not really enough and you need to up to the next level but 15 hours is pretty good on that just as a night light or something or really up close and then if you click and hold goes to the next level so that's much brighter there that is uh, 30 lumens and you get about two and a half hours out of that from a fully charged battery so nice to see and there's no step down on that mode so as you can see look I mean obviously we're in a well-lit room here but you can see this is putting out quite a lot of light and it's a cool white there are no options for anything other than a cool white but this is a tactical pen it's not meant to be a, you know a, a luxury flashlight is it okay so you can go up again so click and hold now that's at maximum so that's 130 lumens really good I can walk by that I've tried that but bear in mind on 130 lumens you get one minute then it will drop down in order to preserve battery I think that's a, a sensible thing to do uh, and if it gets knocked on you're not going to ruin the battery so you get one minute on 130 then it will knock itself down slightly and you'll get 45 minutes on the maximum there so pretty good and an intelligent way to set that up so I'll turn that off so we're not wasting the battery so like I say you've got on and off and it does have memory mode so it remembers the last mode you were in and then double click will take you to strobe okay so we'll go to that so one two I don't know what I would use that for what happens is it flashes blue ten times it flashes red ten times then it flashes red and blue ten times and then it repeats the cycle don't know what I would use that for unless I was in you know an SOS situation or something like that but you probably don't want to be using that in your car outside and you know get accused of impersonating the police or something like that but it's an interesting feature and it's there if you want it you probably think well how do you get out of that just click and hold and it'll go back to the normal mode there you go so you do also have a triple click so triple click will change the what they call it a breathing um, icon anyway so you've got the W which doesn't do anything normally but if you one two three you get this which is like a breathing light in other words it will light up and then go off light up 
and then brighten up and then up brighten all the way down and off and then so it, it comes on increases intensity and turns off and it'll keep doing that they're saying you could do that on standby for around five days but it, that is going to cause um, a drain on the battery so they're recommending don't use that all the time and i would do that i would do the same unless i was you know in a situation where i really needed to find it so one two three and it's back to normal that no longer functions um, you've got four presses so one two three four see the flash there that's now locked out so you can't press it on by accident brilliant i love that feature well done for adding that um so pretty decent um that's basically this unit um i think they've done a pretty good job it's got lockout it's got a breathing sort of look if you want it it's got a battery indicator it's got three different levels it's got that strobe if you want it i can't see use for that but it's certainly there you've got all these different sort of heads you can put on so you can mix and match i really like that and i like this design and the only problem the, a couple of the issues i had was i found it until i found a position that i knew was comfortable so you, you, when you first use it you think well mm, that's not comfortable mm, that's not comfortable but you, you end up finding what well, all i did anyway and certainly for the size of my hands i found that generally doing like a, a diagonal so you've got that flat bit there and then like on that bit that, that that's how i found useful to use it that was just comfortable for me but i i think if they were to create a version two i would chamfer these edges a little bit more this is this has to have a little bit of um, feedback because you know you're, you're moving a, a section here so it has to be a little bit um catchy but people over long periods of time writing people might find that irritating but I didn't have any issues like that. It just didn't hurt my hands or anything like that. So I think they've made a lot of compromises in regards to the size of the ink, which is unfortunate. Yes, you get some spares, but the spares are rather small, aren't they? And making your own is going to be a bit of a gunky mess, but it can't be done. Okay, so really, I want to go over some pros and cons, and then I'm going to give this a mark out of 10. And then I'll stop waffling, and I'll get out, and I'll show you what it actually looks like in the real world. Um, so pros, you've got a battery indicator. I think that's important. You, know, you can tell what state the battery's in. It's not too heavy because they've milled it out quite nicely. Really not too heavy. Even though it's got a magnet on, it's not too big. It's just enough to hold the pen. That's fine. It's got e-lockout, which I think is important. It's multifunction. You can mix and match. I, I really like that. It's got memory mode. Looks good. Um, I, I think they've, they've chosen correctly by using a frosted cover. Um, you know, you can see there it's basically a frosted cover which diffuses the light and it's enough uh, it diffuses it nicely i think they've done a good job there i'll show you that there so you know i think they've done a good job it diffuses it beautifully there's no hot spots or anything like that i think they've done a good job um, and obviously you can use it at any angle you can use it at that angle that angle that angle and you can do that and it pokes through the side so nice to see so we'll turn it off um other things that probably need to be discussed is um Yes, you can use it right in the dark, you know, if you use it in this sort of configuration, which I really, I think that's quite intelligent and, and, and useful. Um, you can use it whilst charging. Whilst this is charging, um, you can still use it on those different levels, which I think is a brilliant feature because not all lights ever seem to have that feature. And I think it is quite important. So you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, so, you know, what are the cons? And I, I've, I've alluded to some of them as we've been discussing here. So slightly sharp edges, but again, you end up finding the path of least resistance in that you find out what's comfortable for your hands. And I certainly did. Um, the refills, I think that's going to be its biggest issue. Then you don't get many. And to make your own, yes, you can do that with a, a box cutter or whatever, but you're going to end up with a gunky mess unless you get a bit of alcohol and clean it up because the, the, the inks in these are quite sort of... Uh, sticky so that's one slight problem i don't know why they didn't just say right here's a box with 50 refills that would have been fantastic and it would have been made it a nice present for somebody um, but i don't think this is intended to be used all the time it's more like a an adc apart from your main pen which is fine uh, micro usb i would have preferred to have seen type c um you know micro usb is a bit annoying you've got to do it a certain way and it's it's getting a bit old now i would prefer to have seen type c but you, they could probably use the excuse well we, we did we ran out of room they may have done 
but I'm sure they could have shrank something to um, make up for that. Um, also, the charging a little bit slow, I found. Um, it's hardly noticeable uh, that when it's trickling on this. Um, they're saying two hours. Two hours for a 120 milliamp battery is quite long. Um, and the price, it's quite expensive. But it's quite expensive because it's got all these multi-features. It's all made out of... It, it's, it's a well-made piece of kit. I can feel it's well-made. Um, and there were no issues, no paint coming off. It's worked. It does what it sets out to do with a few caveats. So let's give this a mark out of 10. Now it's a hard one this because do you mark this as a pen or a light? Well, you have to accept that it's both and therefore you're gonna have slight drawbacks on both sides of the, that, that question there. I'm gonna give this, um, let's have a think. I think for what it does as a pen, I, I really wish there was a way of combating this, this refill issue because if, the, if, the, if they were able to combat that, the price isn't too bad is it, if you're getting it as a nice present for someone to keep for years and years who likes cool gadgets. Really, they need to sort that. But at the moment, I'm going to give it a 7.5 because I think there's changes that could be made to make this so much better. I don't know whether you could maybe make this longer and make these longer or make, I don't know. There's, there's got to be a way around this. Um, Maybe the, the the simple answer is just have a box and give you give you a hundred of these. There's plenty, you know. There's plenty rooms, plenty room in this. So just stick a hundred of these in, then it, it'll be less of an issue. Um, but I think it's fair to give this seven point five. Um, and I've, I've enjoyed my time with it, and I'm going to keep using it. I won't use it as my daily driver pen because obviously of the ink issue. But it's nice to have around. I might keep this in the car or something. I'm not sure. Or might keep it on the desk. I don't know, but it's handy to have, and I think they've done a good job, especially in regards to the lights. They've made intelligent choices there, and it just works. So really nice to see. So enough of me waffling. You've had enough of me, probably. I'm going to get outside and show you what this actually looks like when it's being used. <laughs> 